So seeing all the benefits that actually come from 5S within our courses, we've uh, put together some actual short course 5S workshops. Now these are purely designed to be more specific to the customer's needs uh, and be more direct in, rather than rolling out a whole program, we're able to spend two short days at the workplace and do a whole introductory to 5S. Uh, with the intention that actually getting some 5S projects running and to involve all the key stakeholders. So we, it's not a huge investment in time, but it is big outcome focused. The structure of the 5S course is it is rolled over two days, four hours each workshop. Uh, and we focus on the first three S's of 5S in the first day, uh, which is our sort, set in order and shine. And this is very much employee driven. This is where they get to analyse their own current state, figure out what is actually losing time and what's not adding value in their processes. And they, you know, we actually set some tangible targets before we come out to the next session. Now the next session is all of the last two S's, which is standardise and sustain. So we've made a bunch of changes at this point now, and this is about how do we ensure that the changes that we've made are sustained, but also how do we continue even more changes? And this is where we put things like visual boards up, we introduce like 5S audits, we create that structure in the organisation where there's 5S team leaders, uh, and you know, and there's a number of different tools depending on how the company wants to roll it out, uh, to how we can actually go about it. And that's the, the big benefit of doing the 5S workshops, uh, is because so we can actually customise them to that uh, a company's needs. So outside of those four hour workshops, we actually provide an additional three hours trainer support. Now, the trainers that we provide for, to deliver this training are highly experienced with uh, 5S and they've seen it, they've done the training, <laughs> they've actually facilitated it through the organisations and they're a great tool to actually bring it all together outside of the class. And this, this may look differently, uh, you know, depending on your need. This may mean the trainer spends more time with the management to talk about, you know, the logistics around how we're going to progress forward. This is maybe just about brainstorming with the trainer to say, you know, what else could we do? What do you see that we're doing well? And what do you see uh, the areas for improvement? Uh, so we've, we do find this can be the glue that keep, put, puts it all together. So that is definitely a big key factor of how we've put these courses together. Part of our programs and part of what we do is that we want to feel part of the business without obviously getting paid by the business. The reason we do that is because we want to make sure that we understand the business, we understand the business issues and the gaps and the challenges and the growth. We also want to understand how the business is, is working and their strengths and weaknesses. It also helps our trainers when they go in there that they can actually relate to the staff and they can understand the staff problems and issues. Um, and can also you know, feel that the, the staff can see they're actually part of being there. Um, also, we provide coaching and mentoring in all our programs. The reason why we do that is because we feel that um, we just don't want to be uh, walking in there, deliver the training and then walk away and for them to be left their own devices to do, to do the uh, assessments or projects. Um, we feel that we want to be there so that when we do walk in there, you know, they can be part of the journey. Um, they, they can see the benefits of doing the training. They can feel that actually it's gonna add benefit to, to their job and their skills. So when we do walk away, um, they, feel, they know that at the end of the day that we actually are there to support them. We are there to give them the right advice and the right direction and right help. And also to make sure that they feel comfortable in, in, doing, the, in doing the program and doing the training. Um, we want to make sure that they, you know, they can actually implement and the program is actually, you know, is actually adapt to, to their skills and what they can do. I think coaching and mentoring, which is, which is about three hours, um, is really a vital, probably cog and a vital sort of tool that we add value to businesses which they really enjoy. And also it makes sure that um, 
are trainers who, who love training, are there for the right reasons and are there to really support and help that student get through, get through the training as well. Um, we do provide other tools at times um, in the different courses, which is also good. They can help the staff. And we also you know, meet with the stakeholders when required and you know, from the meetings we have with projects, we provide that service so that the stakeholders understand and know exactly how the train's going, where we're at, what improvements we've done, what projects we've done, and also just for feedback from the stakeholders on what they see and what they think as far as the students. And just so that that communication line always keeps open um, and you know, we keep that relationship building moving forward. Um, and to ensure that we have long-term jeopardy in, in the training. Um, I think with all them ex extras and all that support um, and also the experience we've got with the trainers, um, you know, that benefit is, you know, as a decision, decision maker, is something that I want to look at and make sure that if that, you know, if I'm going to do training, if they've got that there, then I would definitely would want to um, be part of education industry training moving forward.